from the Piazza Marconi in Tre Castagni on the foothills of Mount Etna. On this episode of Yumi in Sicily, we're going to show you highlights from the Feast of St. Alfio. It's a beautiful story about three brothers, Alfio, Filadelfo, and Chirino, who were martyred, Alfred, because they stood strong by their faith. Now one of the largest festivals in Sicily, the three boys born in the southern part of Italy were sent here by the emperor in the hopes that they would get converted back to paganism from Christianity. They landed in Messina, rested in Tre Castagni, and put to death in a horrible way in Lantini. That's correct. St. Elfio had his tongue ripped out, his two brothers, one was roasted over the, uh, the hot pit and the other one was thrown in boiling oil. And for hundreds of years, these brothers have been celebrated. Enjoy highlights from the Feast of St. Elfio. The story of Alfio, Filadelfo, and Chirino is one of devotion, tradition, and pride that has been passed down for hundreds of years. The brothers were martyred on May 10th in the year 253. Since the 1500s, May 9th and 10th are days of celebration and remembrance that includes hundreds of vendors, music, food, fireworks, and the highlight, when the splendid statues of the three saints are brought out of the church to the adoring crowd. Thousands flock to Tre Castagni where the three brothers rested on their way to martyrdom in Lentini for the magnificent two-day commemoration. traditional Sicilian caretti pulled by horses festooned in color and splendor lined the streets as traditional music flows through the air. on the Caretti depict snippets of history and folklore of Sicily's violent and oppressive past. Historically, these were used to carry light loads around town. Today, they are used during festivals, marriages, and other events. The main celebration is held in front of the Church of San Elfio in the Piazza San Elfio. The church is dedicated to all three brothers. And inside, the faithful light candles of adoration as Mass is held throughout the day. Wherever Alfio, Philadelphia, and Chirino went during their march, countless miracles were attributed to them. Since their death, people prayed to the saints for their intercession during times of tragedy, illness, and wars. In the rear of the church is the Hall of Miracles, a series of paintings dating back to the late 19th century showing scenes where the saints were called upon to intercede to God to perform miracles. In July 25, 1964, a baby was dying and they prayed to the, for the intercession of the three saints to help the baby and uh, the baby was cured. Here was in 1965. 
uh, a man was seriously injured in an automobile accident, and they prayed for the intercession of the saints. This wax display, dating back to the Spanish occupation, represents the various body parts that were healed. <laughs> At exactly 1 p.m. on May 10th, the vara, on which the three saints are seated, is pulled out to the crowd with much fanfare. <laughs> Almost an hour, children are brought up to touch the saints and to make offerings to the church. <laughs> then the vara continues up and down the streets of Trecastani to allow others to witness the saints. <laughs> Young and old gather from around the world to pay their respects to their saints and enjoy a quintessential Sicilian festival. The festival of Saint Martyr Alfio Filadelfo Cirino is a festival rich of uh, tradition, for example, candelore, cherry, a fireworks light, and especially devotion for uh, the saints. Every year, uh, more people visit uh, the Castagne uh, to commemorate the saint, and uh, they carry on uh, cherry uh, to celebrate the saint be here in Sicily witnessing this. I can't even describe it. It's breathtaking. It's, um, it's very emotional and I don't know why it's so emotional but it is. Just walking into the church made me cry. That's all I can tell. And for you, your family is from Tre Castagni. My mother was born here and it was a tradition with her family to come to this feast every year. So as a child, we are now doing that, and this is our second time here in Trakistani. We visit the one in Lawrence every year, and it's very, very emotional and overwhelming. It's very interesting, it's very exciting. You feel a connection with the history of the area, and the architecture is beautiful, far different from what we have in the States, and you can take a new appreciation of what other cultures are like. Alfio, Filadelfo, and Chirino, three young boys who were martyred for their braveness, determination, and devotion, and whose story stands the test of time. You know, one of the things that I love about this festival in particular is that young and old people from all over the world, you can really see the passion that people have for these three brothers. I believe the word should be devotion. I think it's much more devout, not only here in Tre Castagni, but also in America. My grandfather, Gaetano Teresi, was one of the organizers of the original festival in Lawrence, Massachusetts, but there's also another one in Pennsylvania, and believe it or not, there's also one in Australia. Okay, now let's talk about the town Tre Castagni, because everyone thinks it's the balls behind us, right? The three chestnuts. But there's right, another story. Right. Really, really one interpretation in the religious interpretation, which I believe, is it means Tre Castagnelli, 
three chased lambs after the three brothers. This is what I think, and this is what lots of people think as well. If you've enjoyed this episode of You, Me, and Sicily, check us out at www.evazmediagroup.com. Ciao! Wow.